And here we are with a new Once Human video. Today, we'll dive deeper into the specifics of the new scenario, the way of winter. We'll carefully analyze all the new features this scenario brings. Let's start by discussing the new stat introduced for this scenario. You'll notice a new icon that will play a crucial role in your survival. In my opinion, this stat will be even tougher to manage than Sanity from Manibus because it constantly holds importance during your in-game day. This new stat is Temperature, and it plays a key role, fluctuating based on the time of day and the changing weather conditions. These climatic shifts will have a profound impact on the areas you explore, especially when considering the time of day and the atmospheric events surrounding you. But don't worry too much. There are many ways to handle this challenge if you're prepared. For example, along with carefully prepared foods that will help warm you up or cool you down, even carrying a torch or Molotov cocktail will provide a quick burst of heat that can save you in desperate situations. However, that's not the only solution. Throughout the map, you'll discover new plants that can heat you up and protect you from harsh climates. Let me introduce you to some of these, like spike tomatoes, solar peppers, and sunny ginger. These plants will help you endure extreme weather, but you'll also find new wildlife, such as moose, polar bears, rabbits, and capybaras, animals you might have encountered before, but there are many new species to discover. By hunting these creatures and using their pelts, you can unlock the ability to craft unique armors and clothing using tanning methods, giving you sturdy protection against even the harshest temperatures. Utilizing all of these resources together will make your journey much easier, allowing you to take on any challenge ahead. But it's not just you who needs warmth. Your home does too. You'll gain access to a new feature, the bonfire, which can be built to warm up after a cold mission. Along with bonfires, such as cozy beds with warm blankets, to make your home truly fit for surviving the freezing winter in Nalcott's North. A significant aspect coming later is the ability to build thermal towers, massive heating structures that can warm the territory around them. With the help of your adventure companions or nearby players, you can build these towers, which are essential for regulating the environment. This warmth is critical, especially for your crops as only certain plants will survive the cold, while others will need your care and protection, especially with the help of the thermal towers. Once completed, these towers offer bonuses and buffs for everyone nearby, so don't be stingy with your resources. Your neighbor's survival could depend on it. An important aspect of the towers is that they can purify chaosium waste into fresh chaosium. However, be cautious. This refining process will attract waves of enemies, similar to the pollution refineries you may have encountered in Manibus or the ones you can build at home. Therefore, it's crucial to defend your towers and ensure the procedure is successful. In Nalcott's North, you'll choose where to begin your exploration with options between two spawn points, Onyx Tundra or Vena Fjord. From these areas, you can explore the entire snowy realm and venture as far as Ember Strand, encountering new locations like Frost Forge, Firethroat Sanctum, or Fort Obsidian. Onyx Tundra is a more beginner-friendly area, with fewer monsters and an easier environment to get started in, while still offering challenges in the form of missions and creatures to fight. This zone is also designed to help new or underprepared players acclimate to the cold temperatures with a beautiful tundra setting. This scenario also brings new deviations you can collect and face, which have been altered by the extreme temperatures of this world. Deviations include changes to their base traits, like rime frost or red hot crucibles, and even frosty variants of enemies like treants along with numerous other bosses that share these characteristics. Deviations accompanying you will also have new abilities that can aid you in combat and daily tasks. In this scenario, you'll battle against Ignis Sinclair and her organization, the Vultures, 
who are determined to conquer the North and gather a rare resource, Chaosium, which you'll use in your thermal towers. However, you won't just face the vultures and deviations. Rosetta also controls some of the warmer areas on the map. Your mission is to save the world from these threats by fighting, solving puzzles, and delving into new dungeons. The new scenario will unfold over 90 days, starting with the settlement phase, lasting 28 days. Afterward, you'll enter the first phase, Arctic Domain, lasting seven days, where regions like Onyx Tundra and Venafjord will unlock. Here, metahumans can familiarize themselves with the map, challenges, and temperature mechanics. The second phase, Scattered Ash, will last eight days, unlocking all regions where you can explore the warmer areas, finally unlock the blueprint for the thermal towers, and face the appearance of Chaos Weavers. Be prepared. The third phase, Glimmer of Hope, lasting ten days, will unlock the most challenging dungeons and fortresses, allowing you to gather resources to upgrade your thermal towers. Finally, the last phase, the end of ice and fire, lasts ten days, during which the frost and flame event will introduce powerful chaos weavers, causing major thermal disturbances. Metahumans must unite to defend their thermal towers and defeat these towering foes to protect the snowy realm. In the final phase, the break of dawn, you'll have 28 days to wrap up any unfinished missions and explore new areas before enrolling in the next scenario. This scenario also brings new blueprints for weapons such as Silent Anabasis, Autumn Equinox, Scorched Earth, Pyroclasm, and Conflicting Memories. Plus, there's a new Romantic Misty Purple Street set for your house, and new cosmetic sets for your characters like the Steel Claw Raid. Lastly, a new season pass is coming, along with 40 new radio stations with diverse music styles. So, The Way of Winter is an expansive, must-play, multiplayer, PvE scenario full of incredible new content that you won't want to miss.